<laughs> Going somewhere? I do hope so. Oh, I'm sorry. Me, you, lunch. Oh, I thought you were cooking. Uh, I think you're getting me mixed up with a barmaid. Oh, come on, Jason can cope for an hour or two. Just tell him that you've got to, I don't know, do an estimate on a job or something. Mm, excuse me, but the organ grinder does not have to explain to the monkey. Mm, well, good. So we can go to the clock. <laughs> no, I'm not getting punched up to get out of the clock. Now to cook steak. Yeah, I said I won't cook, not that I can't cook. Steak under the grill, potatoes to bake in the oven. Simple. Hardly even counts as cooking, do <laughs> Or are you scared of chipping your nail polish? Right, that's it. Potatoes done. You can cook the steak. And while we're waiting for the potatoes to cook... You can pour me a drink. <laughs> well, it wasn't the clock. But it wasn't bad. Not bad. That was Fred Elliott's best steak. Rare enough for you. Well, there's plenty of people around here that think you eat your meat raw. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to have a reputation, isn't it? Well, makes life more exciting, yeah. Especially having to live up to it. You mean you care what other people think? I like to keep people guessing. Mm. So do you. Mm. <clears throat> yes, Josie. All right, five minutes. Not a happy bunny. Neither will I be, not if I'm left with all this washing up. <laughs> I'll make it up to you tonight. Oh, yeah? The clock? Now, take away. And a bottle of wine or two. Oh, well, Mr Generous. So tell me, what do you do with all your money? What makes you think I've got money? Well, a builder with his own business living in a tatty little place like this. <laughs> Suits me, it's handy. <clears throat> if I was living with someone... Different story. Ready for settling down, are you? Nice little family. You never know. When it feels right. So, you on for tonight, then? Well, the alternative is stopping in with my lot, so a bottle of wine and a takeaway sounds really good. You can bring your toothbrush if you want. You'll be asking me to move in next. So I don't. Or wouldn't Mummy approve? Since when did I listen to Mummy? <laughs> oh. oh, about time too. Can I get on with enjoying my day off now? What's left of it? Quite. Just a little bit longer, Mum, and she'll be off your hands for good. What do you mean? Charlie has asked us to move in with him, so uh, I just need time to pack. I'm telling you, Charlie, don't blame me if this job runs into next week, OK? Hey! Yeah, well, the guy's been on the blow all afternoon asking where we are. Has he now? I mean, if I'd have took four hours off with Sarah, you'd have skimmed me a... Hey, are you listening? I'm not sure what I'm doing, to be honest. What? Nothing. Come on, let's get going. Thought this through. What's to think about? Oh, have you got a week? Has she got a brain more like? So what happened to Shelley? Yeah, well, I'm not a victim who asks men to walk all over her. Oh, so it was all her fault? Well, she let Peter do it to her and all. Have you forgotten? You don't go on about how bad he is. He just wants to use you. <laughs> no man has ever got the better of me. You've never bitten off more than you can chew before. Charlie is a different proposition to Steve MacDonald. Yeah, well, I should hope he is. Cos Steve lied about wanting commitment and... Charlie means it. Commitment from Charlie Stubbs? You'd as soon get relief from pain by swallowing a knife. Look, I am sick of all this negativity. Why can't you just be glad that I found the happiness I want? Oh, you're a long way from that. Yeah, well, I've got to try. All my life, I've wanted love and I've never found it. Because you rush into relationships with the wrong man. Not this time. Look, on the surface, you don't let them get the better of you, but underneath, they cut you in half. We don't want to see that again. You've still got the scars from Steve. All right, so what do I do? Spend the rest of my life in a box? No, but you think carefully first. 
sick of being careful. Oh, you, careful? That's a good one. You should send that one in. Look, can't you just sit down with him and, and talk it through a bit more? What, and talk ourselves out of it? But you have discussed it with him, though, I hope. Tracy? Look, I'm going, and that's it. And there's Amy to think about as well, Ia. What's he gonna do to her, moving in with a strange man? At least sleep on it till tomorrow. You've nothing to lose. Right. Change the flaming record, will you? I'm gonna go and get some stuff from Dev's. Shopping for Charlie already? Oh, just his hand cream and makeup remover. He doesn't want anyone to know his secret. I give up. I gave up a long time ago with her. I'm supposed to be going out tonight and all. Well, what's stopping you? I can't go out now, can I? Why on earth not? Well, doesn't seem right. I'm sitting here worrying isn't going to solve anything. She puts her own enjoyment first. Why shouldn't you? You don't mind, Ken? Why else should I mind? He wants you out of the road so he can play on his laptop without feeling guilty. Well, that's settled then. I've had a hell of a day. I'm going to go and let my hair down for a few hours. Big time. <laughs> Hiya. Well, you said move in. <laughs> not changed your mind, have you? No, but... Oh, uh... well, there's no point hanging around, is there? No. Now, uh, let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything else? Come on in, Amy. Say hello to Charlie. Amy, this is going to be your new house. <laughs> What are you painting? Is that thing have an switch? Uh, Amy, yeah, switch that thing off and come and sit down, will you? Your breakfast ready? Nah, not for me. Never bother. Yeah, what well, you do now? I've made you diffy eggs and soldiers. Must be 30 odd years since anyone made me a proposition like that. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, I've got another proposition for you once I get her off to nursery. Yeah. Mm. Amy, what was that? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh, potty, have you seen a potty? Yeah, sorry, it's just we're at a really delicate stage in a potty training. I mean, she's sat on it, but she hasn't actually gone. And, well, she might have found it on Cecily moving in here. So what I'm saying is, if there are any little accidents, you won't shout or get cross with it or anything, will you? It's just it's really important we make the whole experience as stress-free as possible. Yeah. Um, you know, I think I might uh, skip the dippy egg, after oh. all. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Bye. Amy, what was that, love? Honey? Charlie Stubbs, officially a soft touch. Wait till word gets around. <laughs> it's hysterical. Tracy's got you well under the thumb. Don't know how she did it. Oh, man, we're having a hot day. It's next she's landed on the doorstep with a kid in town. Oh, come on, you must have given her some encouragement. Yeah, we talked about her moving in one day. There you go, that sounds like an invite to me. We're moving straight away. Not moving and bring the two-year-old who isn't even out straight. What am I gonna do? <laughs> plastic toys everywhere. I'll buy all them boxes, tidy as you go. Sound like you're an expert. Well, you're not the only one going out with a single mother. I do my fair share of bedtime stories, bathing, and all that rubbish. You do? Well, I wouldn't be going out with Sarah, didn't you? Try and see it like a two-for-one deal. What? Buy one, get one free. Yeah, but I don't want a kid. Definitely not somebody else's kid. <laughs> not even sure I want her now. Give over. She has got her hooks right in. She has not. I mean, I can't believe it. Feet under the table. You never even saw it coming. Yeah. Well, I'm not standing for it. No way. Hi. Where have you been? Work. It's dinner time. You know, I, um... I meant what I said about that proposition I had for you. Tracy, <clears throat> I can't just drop everything because you click your fingers. Well, how about you click your fingers and I'll drop everything? I do. Hiya. Do you want to see what Amy did for Uncle Charlie? <sighs> Very nice. Yeah, I've just put her down for a bit. You couldn't give us a hand clearing up, could you? No. Nah, I'm shattered. I'm just going to have a sit down first, if that's all right. Oh, is poor Uncle Charlie tired? You don't mind her calling you Uncle Charlie, do you? You don't think it makes you sound a bit like an old perv or something? No. I I think it makes me sound like her uncle, which I'm not. I'm just a mother's boyfriend. What's that smell? 
Oh, yeah. Um, well, she nearly made it to the potty, which helped Mummy clear up. So what do you want to do for food later? Well, I was thinking me and you might go out. Yeah, I just don't think I can get a babysitter. Really? Well, maybe I'll go down the pub anyway. Oh, can't we just stay in? In fact, I think I might go down there now. <clears throat> Leave you to sort her out. It's all right. He's safe. She's in bed. Did you kiss a good night from me? I'm sorry if I was a bit off earlier. Hard day. You don't even look at her when she speaks to you. You've made absolutely no effort since we got here. All things considered, I reckon I've been pretty good about it all. What, by ignoring her? It's a big shock having a kid around the place. It takes a lot of getting used to. Well, you're not going to get to know her by going down the pub. What? I can't have a drink after work anymore. I've got to rush on home and see to Amy, ever. Look, Charlie, all I'm saying is that you've got to put some effort in if this is going to work. Hang <laughs> on a minute. We never even talked about Amy moving in. We never really talked about any of it in any detail. Oh, right, so when you asked me to move in, you just expected me to throw some stuff in a bag and drop Amy at the local orphanage, did you? No, I thought she'd stay at your mother's. Or go round her dad's. He's desperate to spend more time with her. She's my daughter. Where I go, she goes. Yeah, but you didn't tell me that. You just assumed I'd be fine about it. Well, I thought this is what you wanted. How wrong can you be? Look at this place. It's the ultimate bachelor pad, a one-bedroom flat. It's big enough. There's no washing machine. The fridge is full of milk and lager. The cupboards are bare, the shelves are all full of car magazines, all my DVDs are shoot 'em ups I mean, this place just isn't what you call child-friendly. Well, that's easy to put right, if you wanted to. All right, I... I am not what you call child-friendly. You know, I thought we were going somewhere. Could it be so stupid? We are. I wanted you to move in. I'm just... I'm just not ready to play happy families, not yet. You know, this is like a bad dream. You're asking me to choose between you and my daughter. No. Yeah, well, she wins hands down every time. No way. You know what? All those people that warned me against you, they were right. You're just using me. I am trying to be honest with you! You can keep your lousy bachelor pad! I'm not letting you go! I will not let you go! I care too much about you! You're right. I should have known what I was laying myself in for. I just... I'm just used to getting what I want, when I want. I just need some time to adjust, that's all. I think she's awake. I don't want you to go. You probably just need to drink or something. Lager, okay. 